did the tour come together with, with Conway? Uh, you know, uh, me and Conway been working with each other for years through Griselda. Shout out Westside Gun Drum Works, the whole Griselda family. You know what I'm saying? And um, just recently, I had started working with Empire for like my next what, three albums. I'm working with Empire. Like I did a distribution a, yeah distribution partnership with them. I, I've always been with a distribution company. I've always been independent, but I was working with. Um, a different distribution before that, and I'm still working with them. They still have my entire catalog, so I never like signed the deal to like sold my um, my catalogs for money and nothing like that. Like Would I just want to, huh? Would you ever sell your catalog? I mean, honestly, I can't see myself doing it because it's like owning a neighborhood. It's like you own a neighborhood with every album. Is an apartment complex or monopoly, every album? Kind of like, like a monopoly. Yeah, it's right. like you know what I'm saying. If it it, uh, it only makes sense if it's not making you any money. If it's not worth nothing. You right. most people buy homes for a three. A person will build a three hundred thousand dollar house to a five hundred thousand dollar house to make the passive income of twenty five hundred a month for the rest of their life. Three thousand dollars. They're not making a five hundred thousand dollar house to get ten thousand dollars a month. They're only trying to get twenty five hundred. Some seventeen hundred. Mm hmm. But this house is worth three hundred thousand. You paying seventeen, nineteen hundred dollar rent. Mm -hmm. So the owner of this house owns equity of a property that's six figures, but they only taking four a month. You see what I'm saying? Because they look, they trying to, they, they trying to have ten years of Working equity. This shit, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then at a certain point, when it worth a certain amount of money, cash maybe out. I cash out and sell it, or maybe I extend and make more money on it because the property is, is increased. It depends on the person and the seller, but to sell your cattle, most people do not want to buy a home out of your catalog. They don't want to buy an apartment complex out of your catalog. Right. They want to buy your entire catalog. Oh, so that's a whole different yeah. conversation. It's not like, oh, I own a neighborhood with, okay, you got 17 albums, 17 albums, it's like levels, because for a certain person, 17 albums, each album is a home, but for certain artists, 17 albums, 17 apartment complex, each song on each album is making $1,200, $1,500, $1, or $3,000, $4,000, so that's like a rent. Yeah. It's like you own a, a 20, a, how many songs on this album? Like a 25 unit, a duplex, or whatever the fuck it is, an apartment, or whatever. You got 25 units. Each song on this album, in a 30 day process, is paying you $2,500, $5,000, $6,000. 20,000 to 1,500, just depending on the strings of this song. If you a, if you a catastrophic artist, you got some of these songs paying you 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 200, 400, 300,000 a month. That's a wrong wrong wrong. And it's thank you. Now, you, yeah. there we go, compound interest. That is what we're looking for. Right. We're in this for compound interest, just like likes on Instagram. Nigga, if you got uh, 15,000 posts or you got fucking uh, 300 posts and on 300 posts, you getting paid a dollar for every like. Or fuck it, you getting paid 50 cents for every like. Fuck it. Let's say you getting paid 50 cents for every like. But your average likes per post is 7,000 likes. Oh, you We're not saying you, we're not even saying you getting motherfucking oh, 300,000 and 200,000 likes. Greedy. I'm just saying you getting a cool 7, 8,000, 10, 15,000 likes. Right, right. But you getting paid 50 cents a like. Yeah. If it's 8,000, that's 4,000. Okay then, so and for the rest of your life, as long as you're able to keep the audience intrigued into the music. That's going to happen. Why would I sell that? To to not be able to lay back on that money every month. That now you're putting me back in a position where I have to rework again, right. or I have to make to so. Sell it. And I'm trying to sell it. I'm, I'm, not, the same I'm not the same niggas I was. I'm not the same. I'm not, I don't got the same audience that I got then. I don't yeah. got the same. That's older classic. That's, that's classic. That shit for show. Dope. I can sit on this forever. This for, for show. show dope. Dope. No matter when they play this, they're gonna love it. For this sure new dope. shit that I do is gonna be great, but it's also experimental. Uh, shit to change ten years down the line. Out of the beats, I'm still on the beats I was on on that shit. <laughs> yeah, it ain't the same. Huh? So, it, like I said, it, it it only makes sense to sell your catalog if you have maybe four. Because also people don't understand it, that you have the ability to make multiple catalogs, but most people. Do, do, do to their legal situation with the beginning of their record deals or the beginning of their record or uh, rap careers they sold off majority of their catalogs to companies in the beginning so now every time they get a new deal the catalog is being split up or it's being transferred over from company to company to company and it's being bought out bought out but the artist is at the expense of the artist so you steady going to more debt more debt more debt and some people never come out their debt that's how some artists become to where you never hear them again because they couldn't get out their hole they have to pay it back. Yeah.